Is a gas powered chainsaw a little too much maintenance for you? And a corded electric saw a little bit too much extension cord for you? Well, if so, how about a battery powered chainsaw? Think that's tough enough for you? Let's find out. Hey, it's Paul with Tool Metrics, and today I'm taking a look at a battery powered chainsaw from DeWalt. It's a 60 volt unit, um, and I'm going to walk through and show you feature by feature, give you some impressions. But first, just kind of as a uh, an executive summary, if you will, I'll tell you that this saw has exceeded my expectations in terms of uh, power and, and just overall capabilities. Uh, it's more powerful than any corded electric chainsaw that I've ever used, and I would say it's more comparable to a smaller gas-powered unit. It's definitely not doesn't have the the muscle of a bigger gas-powered unit. Um, so if you're a lumberjack where you're cutting down big trees all day, every day. This is probably not what you're looking for, but for a weekend warrior or a construction worker, this thing has got a tiger in the tank and it's really ready to go for most of those kind of size tasks. So let's take a look at some of the features and uh, then I'll provide a demonstration for you. The saw has a brushless electric motor, which I really like, and that means it makes efficient use of the battery for longer time between charges. It also means that it delivers full power even when running at slower speeds, like when you're limbing a tree. One nifty safety feature is this substantial chain brake mechanism and front hand guard. With it in the forward position, the saw cannot be turned on, but by flipping it back this way, now you're ready to rock and roll. Another safety feature is the dual action trigger, which requires the lock off lever to be activated before the variable speed trigger can be engaged. I also like the quarter turn oil cap and good size reservoir, making it easy and not messy to fill the unit with bar oil. I've read some reports of chain oil leaking from this unit, but I use a pretty thick uh, bar and chain oil and I haven't seen any oil leakage so far. There's also a nice oil level indicator so you can see when you're running low and take care of it. I also like the accessible chain tensioning knob that makes it easy to adjust chain tension without needing any tools. The battery is easy to remove and replace and with the FlexVolt line you can use 20 volt batteries and share batteries with other FlexVolt tools. I also like the at a glance battery charge indicator so you know when you're running low and need to put it on the charger. One thing that a gas chainsaw user will notice is the absence of bucking spikes on this unit. These plastic ridges are not really functional as bucking spikes and I'd say there just isn't enough power here on this unit to apply that much torque on the saw and you'd stall the chain if you did. But for occasional non-lumberjack use it just doesn't matter. I gave the chainsaw a very good workout. I used it on a variety of trees, both green and pretty dry, and it just powered through everything. The lighter stuff in the four to six inch range, it made extremely short work of. It handled the bigger stuff in the 10 to 12 inch range, but there's where I could start to see a little bit of bogging down. I had to back off on the pressure, and the difference was a little more apparent between this and a gas powered saw. But ultimately, it got the job done, and that's all I really cared about. The battery lasted for about an hour 20, hour 25 minutes, which was plenty of time to get the work done that I was after out in the yard, and I was really pleased with the performance. All right, so bringing this all back together, here's where I think this unit fits. I think if you're a lumberjack cutting down trees every day, all day for a living, you probably don't want to put your big gas-powered chainsaw on Craigslist just yet. But if you're a weekend warrior, uh, occasionally cutting down a tree in the backyard, this is a great fit for you. If you're a construction worker, occasionally cutting off uh, a four, four by material, six by material on the job site, I think this would be a good option for you as well. Hope you found this video useful and I hope you'll subscribe to the Toolmetrics channel for more DIY woodworking and tool videos coming your way. Thanks for watching.